All right, welcome back. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's finish this. Head up to the gas station and talk to Ringo. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I forgot. Robot Cowboy. We actually have some things to talk to him about. But also maybe he can help with the Powder Gangers. Because, yeah, that one guy mentioned that a robot cowboy was actually the person who, like, put in that, um, delivery in the first place. Howdy, partner. Mm, looks like we can't talk to him about that, though. Are you decent in a fight? I could use some more firepower if you have any. Trouble with rustlers, huh? Count me in, partner. Those varmints will be running home with their tails between their legs soon enough. Nice. Happy trails! Alright, well even if you're suspicious, at least you're helpful. <laughs> Alright, now let's do this. We got a robot on our side now. <laughs> you know, it's funny, I, I call, like, these locations gas stations. Well, no, it does say gas, but, like, in the Fallout universe, the cars were all, like, nuclear-powered, right? So, like, were you actually refueling on gas, or were you refueling on nuclear fuel? <laughs> Hey, Ringo. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Sonny's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Hold on. All right. <laughs> Wait, I can't save Watch in the conversation. Let's do a quick save. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> you know, things could uh, get chaotic out there. What's the plan? Are we ready? All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. How convenient. <laughs> How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. Oh, that's they look easy. Pretty mean. I took out like ten people. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. All right, let's go. What do I got? Hold on. What is this pistol? Sixteen. Okay, yeah, we're gonna bust out our DLC, <laughs> our DLC pistol. Oh man, the dog better not die again. Don't have to time travel again. Yep. Great spot, Ringo. Behind that rock. Howdy. Howdy. Trudy. You wanna put on some armor? Okay, looks like they're approaching. Oh, oh, they're just, they're just, they're just attacking. Okay, I thought there might be like a conversation or something. <laughs> no, no, they are just attacking. Hold on, wait. I think one guy's just charging at me. Not the best idea, my dude. Get hit his arm. There you go. Nice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> also, wait, where is the dog? Okay, dog is fine. Wait, does the dog have like a weird collar? I like just noticed that. Okay. The dog is okay. That's, that's good. That's the most important thing, obviously. <laughs> okay. Oh shit. Oh, this guy's right up here. Oh, did, Ringo, why did you run out? <laughs> I thought you were hiding behind that rock. Oh, let me get his arm. Okay, get out of the way, Ringo! No! <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god. Okay. What? 
What is this? <laughs> oh. We did it. Okay. Now we just gotta make sure. Okay, we're shunned by the powder gangers. Yeah. Oh, that might make it hard to bust that one guy out. <laughs> the sheriff, uh... We'll deal with that when we come to it. Okay, nobody died, right? Dog, alive. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Thanks. A whole hundred caps. <laughs> like half of what I get for like selling a gun. <laughs> Didn't I hear you say something here about not being able to pay me now? I did have what was left of the Crimson Caravan money. But I wasn't sure if it was my right to just give it away. Okay. I owe you more than that, though. So look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp up in New oh. Vegas if you ever visit. Oh, okay. Well, thanks. <laughs> thanks again for all your help. Can you tell me... <laughs> By the way, can you tell me anything about Good Springs? I've never stopped here until recently. You're better off asking one of the locals. Okay. Yeah. Alright, bye. So, okay. If we ever... Oh, hey, the baseball bat's actually worth a decent amount. 20 gauge, dynamite... Single shotgun. It's worth some money. Joe Cobb, okay, revolver... Ooh, stealth boy. Powder ganger guard armor. Hold on. I also wonder, like... You have equipped faction armor, right? Disguises you as a member of that faction. Members of the faction now consider you a friend, while enemies of that faction will attack you on sight. Okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> the people around me better not, um... <laughs> better not uh, attack me immediately. Occur while wearing faction armor still affect your character. Security personnel such as guards and watchdogs will see through your disguise. You're now just as a power gear. You are no longer just as a power ganger. Let's hold on to that, though. Maybe we can sneak into the prison. Alright, anybody else we can loot? Oops, I didn't mean to actually take that. Drop that. Alright, we did it. Hey, Easy Pete. That ought to keep things settled for a while. Hope it stays that way. Yeah, you didn't know. Keep your gun <laughs> handy if you go poking around. Yeah, yeah, Wait. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Trudy, what's up? I'm glad that business is over. I like it when Good Springs is nice and quiet. All right, cool. Be careful out there. Here, wait, can Feeling I... thirsty? Can I sell you some stuff? Got a special di Does having a discount also mean that you'll pay me more? I got a baseball bat for you. <laughs> and uh, some of these shotguns. Was that all I took? I think so. Okay. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Okay. I want to see if Sunny has anything to say. I think she's already in here. Hello. That'll teach the powder gangs to avoid good springs in the future. Nice. Until next. Alright, guess that's it. <laughs> Wait, Trudy, how'd you get here before me? She teleported in. And dog is alive. Good. Okay. <laughs> well, there we go. We've kind of actually finished like our first quest line. We've we've helped out Good Springs. Yay! <laughs> okay. So I suppose. Well, shoot. Should we uh? Should we go try to rescue the guy? <laughs> Although, of course, I should have done this before I, I made an enemy of the Powder Gangers. <laughs> I mean, hey, we can just blast our way in, right? 
Yeah, we are shunned. Oh boy. Um... But I mean, yeah. I mean, then we can also just ask the NCR to do it. Um, I, mean, I guess I'm curious what happens. Like, let's see what the NCR has to say. If we ask them about protecting the town. Talk to what's his name, Lieutenant Lieutenant Hayes. Where you at? We will. Yeah. Yeah. Prim is in dire need of some real law. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town. But we're barely holding our own against the Powder Gangers. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. What do you need to take over protecting the town? What we need more than anything is bodies. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. Knight at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. Hmm. Sir? Won't go quietly. The Legion can count. Okay. So, I mean, we can do that, but, like, do we want to? Hmm. I am curious about trying to bust that guy out of the prison. <laughs> that sounds like it'd be fun. <laughs> what do you say? We can try using that, like, disguise. Here we go. Actually, shoot. <laughs> I don't want to save scum too much, but what if I did load that save and then try to get into the prison before we fight the powder gangers? That would have made a little more sense. Mm, I don't know, but trying to use the disguise also sounds fun. <laughs> so let's do, <laughs> let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't mind me. I'm just a powder ganger. Hello, hello, fellow teens. Oh, who is that up there? Is that a power ganger? Yep. Hello. <laughs> yep. Hello, friend. You in me. No. Damn, running low on smokes again. Probably because you keep smoking them. Just don't smoke them, then you'll never run out. <laughs> Can't beat that logic. Hold on. Just looking at the roads. Hmm. There's a road that goes over there. It's the road to the prison. Though it is funny, like, because, yeah, this is like a guard uniform. Well, I guess it's a guard, well, it's like the bulletproof vest, but over the prisoner outfit. Okay. <laughs> so I was going to say, wouldn't this just disguise me as NCR? Hello, it's me, your fellow powder ganger. Coming back in. Little mobile home? Okay. Oh yeah, are all of my, like, limbs okay? Eh, good enough. Okay, how do we actually... <laughs> get in? It's like, the, the secondary fence. NCR Correctional Facility. Hello? Please do not stand when shots are fired. <laughs> Okay. 
Now, it did say that guards could see through our disguise. Hello? I know all the guys I did time with around uh -oh. here, and you ain't one of them. <laughs> Can't fool me with that powder ganger get up. Uh, what is this place? This, this is, or was, the big house. New California Republic Correctional Facility. Not much correcting went on here, just slave labor. One hmm. day, us prisoners decided to liberate ourselves. Killed the warden, killed the guards, took over the whole damn territory. Who's in charge of the prison now? That'll be Eddie. You can usually find him sitting in the warden's old chair up in the main building. Uh, can I go in? Well, I don't know. Depends on if you can make it worth my time. Hundred caps sounds right to me. Mm. Quit wasting my... What is a powder ganger? That's us. We got sent here to fix the rails and make some new ones. And for that, we got to use dynamite. Of course, dynamite works pretty good against caravan guards, too. So, that's what we do. Rob and blow things up. Uh, what did you do to end up in here? Me? I ran with the toughest gang in the hub. You've heard of the hub, right? It's, uh, west of here, I think. Back in California. Uh, if you're free, why are you sticking around? We've got the biggest, baddest fort in the wasteland. There's water and power, and if we need grub, we just go out and steal it. Okay. But bye. Yeah, whatever. Alright. What do you want now? Oh. Can I go in? Well... I... Okay. Alright, you can go on in. Can't guarantee your safety, though. Just saying. Yeah, whatever. All right, well, let's head in. Hi, everybody. Gotta wonder why the NCR. We has sure come showed for us. those bastards in the NCR. Oh, don't need a hey, shirt. Oh, I've been sent to tell you that while you're not exactly a friend, you know you've helped us out some all the same. Wait, what? We figure some kind of truce is in order. As long as you don't come too close to any of our camps, we'll let you pass without trying to kill you. Oh, of okay. Of course, the truce is off once we know you're an enemy. Uh, I'll keep that in mind. See ya. Okay, bye. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, we have a truce, right? Damn, running low on smokes again. So wait, so where's this guy? Oops. Hmm. Oh yeah, I wasn't able to ask. Uh, the guy at the door about him. You eyeballing me? Nope. Hmm. Yeah, where's this sheriff guy? Hannigan? Heard there was a new face around. I'm the doctor around here. Sort of. Why are you sort of the doctor? I was an NCR medic for six months, so I'm not exactly a doctor. Still, it's more medical training than any of the other guys here. It also gives me an excuse to stay out of any raiding parties. The gang can't lose its only doctor now, can it? <laughs> How did you all manage to escape? One night, there was a big explosion from the other cell block. I had no idea what was going on, so I took cover in my bunk. When it was all over, the guards were dead and we were free. Most of the other prisoners scattered, but a few of us stuck around, obviously. Uh, what did you do to end up in here? Medical supplies go for a decent amount of caps in the right markets. I figured the quartermaster wouldn't notice any missing. I was wrong. Hmm. What'd you do before? Let's see. I've been a farmhand, a bouncer, a bandit, and an NCR trooper. I don't recommend any of them. 
<laughs> What's your reason for staying? The location by the highway makes it a good spot to shake down any travelers passing through. That's why Eddie and the rest are still around. Me, I like having big walls between myself and the wasteland. Bye. Later. Hey. D hey. Oh yeah, don't mind the fact that I have a pit boy, by the way. Yep, I was totally just a prisoner with a pit boy on my arm. <laughs> Hello? Scrambler? What are you looking at? Uh, what? <laughs> I just noticed your name tag. Why are you called Scrambler? Why? It's because I mess up people so bad they don't know what part goes where when I'm done. Okay. What'd you do to end up in here? Not much. Just killed a bunch of people. Maybe a couple kids, too. Whatever. Uh, okay. <laughs> How'd you all break out? Dynamite. Lots and lots of dynamite. You should have seen the body parts flying everywhere. Oh, what do you do around here? I keep an eye on my buddy Eddie. Anybody messes with him and I scramble them real good. All right, bye. Uh-huh. <laughs> also, hold on. President, what? What does that say? Pepchus? Okay. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> You evening. all just... Yeah, evening. They're, they're pretty polite. Dawes said he let somebody in. So you going to give me a reason not to kill you and throw your body back outside? <laughs> uh, what do you need done? This is Powder Ganger territory. My territory. Most of the guys around here understand that. One, Chavez doesn't. Chavez formed his own crew and have been hitting traitors on their own. Everybody I've sent after him either got killed or weren't able to catch him. That leaves you. What do you say? I mean... You only want me to deal with Chavez? Chavez is the ringleader. Without him, his crew will fall apart, and I don't give a shit about those guys. Alright, sure. Good. Chavez <laughs> and his boys were last seen south of here. If you're lucky, and he's careless, he might still be there. Uh, how'd you end up in this place? Why do you care? Answer, you shouldn't. I don't feel like trading life stories. How'd the breakout happen? It was all Cook's idea. He and his boys managed to swipe some dynamite and hide it away in their cells. The rest of us just tagged along. Cook's crew headed north while the rest of us stuck around for payback. Uh, what do you know about- Oh, wait, was Cook? Oh no, he was the guy- Okay. What do you know about Cook? One mean son of a bitch. Really truly hates the NCR for some reason. And he got a lot of the other guys around to his way of thinking. Is Cook the... the sheriff we're looking for? He and his crew went north. I heard talk about some sort of big plan to get back at the NCR, but haven't seen them since. What can you tell me about the prison? The NCR called it a work release prison. We lucky prisoners got the privilege of fixing up the rail lines and blasting rock for new lines. They got sloppy though. Some of us managed to hide away some dynamite and look who's in charge now. Bye. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> Toilet? Okay. Just some offices. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Guess I won't get them all mad at me just to pick a lock. Hey. D hey. <laughs> 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 a little crowded on that couch, guys. I guess they're, they're good. They're, uh, you know, they get along. I would like to look at that terminal, but I don't think they would, they would like that. Okay, so wait, hold on. Beagle, yeah, an ex-sheriff at NCRCF. Okay. I mean, this is still marked as a... I guess we still haven't found the guy. Do, do we actually know what his name is? Hold on. 
Is he back in the, the visitor center? You know, the water's radioactive, by the way. <laughs> Just taking a look around. Looks like those are the only buildings. Wait. Oh, cell block B. Carter. It's about time a new customer showed up around here. I was getting sick of dealing with the same faces all the time. I mean, you kind of just... <laughs> you kind of just kill people. <laughs> when, <laughs> I don't know why you expect would just expect people to show up and trade with you. But you're a trader? I was always the guy who could get things, if you know what I mean. Figured I might as well keep on doing it. What'd you do to end up here in the first place? I worked in a casino in New Reno. One of the pit bosses decided he didn't like me. Framed me over some caps, and I ended up in here. Well, dang. What can you tell me about this place? This is where the NCR sent prisoners to reform through hard labor. I never saw much reforming around here myself. Hmm. Why do you stay here? Don't have any other place to go. I'd just end up back in another prison or dead out in the wasteland. All right. What do you got for sale? If I don't have anything you like, well, tough. I don't do special orders. Oh, you got a lot of cards. Got some, some stuff. Okay. Motorcycle gas tank. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. See you. Bye. That's locked. Any lawman that comes after me won't have it easy. Hmm. All right, I just wanted. <laughs> Where is this sheriff guy? Oh, hey, a workbench. Maybe I... Did I miss a room in the visitor center? It seemed like it was just this one room. Damn. Any of you? Smokes again. You're all... Oh, Myers. Oh, you have a sheriff hat. <laughs> How did I miss that? I didn't know anyone would willingly walk into this place. Not unless they were looking for trouble. What's your story? Wait, he asked me what's my story, but I can't actually respond. <laughs> What'd you do before you ended up incarcerated? I was a sheriff, believe it or not, for a small town far to the west of here. Short version is that sometimes justice is a little slow. I helped speed it up one too many times. I'm not uh -huh. sorry for anything I did, but I will do the time. Fair enough trade if you ask me. Tell me more about what happened before we get I to the... I <laughs> understand that cook was behind it all. I kept my head down the whole time. Didn't want any part of it. I stuck around, figuring the NCR would show up and put things back the way they were. No sense in making myself look guilty, right? Hmm, who's cook? Some kind of anti-NCR rebel. Some people just don't like being pushed around and told what to do. Where can I find cook? He went north with some of the other guys. Didn't say where. Didn't say why. All I know is he's got some kind of score to settle with the NCR. Uh, wait, we already asked that. Uh, who's in charge? We already know that. Oh, how would you feel about becoming Prim's new sheriff? Assuming an NCR pardon comes with the job, and it had better. I also need to be able to do things my own way. Due process has its place. But sometimes it's just a waste of time. I'll need to know that I'm not going to end up right back in prison. Hmm. Does that mean you'll take the law into your own hands? When I need to? Yes. I need to think about it. Understood. Okay. Watch yourself out there. All right. <laughs> well, let's let's end off there. We'll have to think about what we're gonna do. Like, do we want him to be the sheriff? I don't know. But we'll find out next time. Thanks for joining me.